So one of the things that's changed since I started my ketogenic lifestyle is that I do a lot more cooking for myself while I'm out in the woods, cooking from scratch rather than prepared meals. Now, don't get me wrong, I enjoy doing that cooking, but there are times I would just like to open up a package of a freeze-dried or otherwise prepared meal, put it in the pot, put the hot water in, and have it ready in just a few minutes. The problem is, is that companies that cater to people on low-carb diets are few and far between but I think I've found one and I want to share it with you. These are two meals from the company Right On Trek. If you're interested in hearing more about them, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, there's a few things I want to mention. First off, I'd like to thank the company Right On Trek for sending me these meals so that I could share them with you. So not only did they send these two meals, this one being the bechamel style mac and cheese, not a keto meal, I'll explain why in a minute, and this one, the broccoli beef stroganoff, which is a keto meal. And they actually sent not just those, but they actually sent a couple of breakfast meals. So uh, I'll be covering those in a separate vi video. So why do I have one keto and one not keto? Well, I'm out camping with Gina. We're here in Kujabaquak National Park, and I thought this was the ideal setting to bring these meals along. So in fact, what we're gonna be doing is um, I'm gonna be showing the preparation of my meal, and Gina's gonna be showing the preparation of her meal. Gina's not on a ketogenic diet, so that's why she can have the mac and cheese, and as good as that looks. I am going to have to have a taste of it, of course, but as good as that look, it has a lot higher carbohydrates than it would be allowed on my diet. Okay, so those are the primary things I wanted to mention. The other thing is, is that this is not a company, I think that should be evident now, this is not a company that sells only to the ketogenic market. In fact, when you go to the website, and I will be providing links for it, you're going to be amazed, at least I was, amazed with the way the website was up and the choices you have. So right off at the top, they have a wide variety of meals available to all kinds of different diets. So in fact, one of the things you can do is you can filter the meals. You can filter keto, gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan. I think there's a few other categories and then you can just tick off which ones you're most interested in or not interested in and it will present those meals to you. It makes it a lot easier than just going through every meal and trying to read the ingredients to see if it agrees with your diet. Uh, some of the other things they do on the website are really cool. They offer you the meals in one person, two, person three and four person variations now the one and two persons are bag size the three and four i think are separate bags these meals in fact are considered a two person meal but you couldn't as you can see right up here so you would divide it down into two portions not likely, and you'll understand why. I think a hungry person's gonna want one of these all to themselves. But that's one of the options you can do as well. Now, the other thing is they have add-ons, and that's the best way to describe it, so that you can go to their list of add-ons, and for a few extra dollars, you can have them attach things to the outside of the bag as accessories, additional things you can have to amp up your meal. So, for instance, these ones came with this little accessory package on it, and it has a piece of cheddar cheese, some hot sauce, and some Parmesan cheese. I think those are ideal additions to my meal and to Gina's meal for that matter. So that's another option that you can do. I think that's really very cool, very, very um, forward thinking and allowing people to customize their meal a little bit right from the company. And I, and I think that is, again, forward thinking. Speaking of forward thinking, let's just talk about the formation of this company to start with. So this was actually created by a group of people who had gone on a long distance hike. And as they sat around one evening, presumably they talked about how could we encourage other people to get out doing exactly what they had. So as they looked through their group, they realized they had all the skills and talents and the abilities within their own group to start a company that would be dedicated to doing exactly that. Not only encouraging people to get out and explore on their own, but also they, they have a real strong ethos about the environment. I'll speak to that in a moment. And uh, yeah, so not only were they, are they providing meals, but they on their website, they have some other categories. They have a list of trails so that if you're interested in exploring a 
about the trails, they have a list there. Now, my experience in looking at this is it seems to be, at least from my, what I saw, somewhat uh, more about what's available to you in California. That's fine. At least if you're in California and you're interested in these trails, there's something to look at there. They also talk about gear, and they, I believe they, ha they can hook you up with gear rentals. So that's another one as well. So there are quite a bit of information on there, but primarily their focus is on providing meals like this to people who want to have lightweight, dried, fully prepared meals that they can just put in their backpack, get to where they're going, prepare them easily, little fuss, little muss, and, and taste good. The other thing is, uh, not only is their ethos about the environment, and let me speak to that right now. One of the things that they're very big on, and you'll see this, there's the Leave No Trace symbol. So they're part of the Leave No Trace movement. But also, where is it? It says so here on the label somewhere. I'll find it. Sustainable bio-based packaging. So this packaging is um, should be compostable. I say should be compostable. It really depends on where you're at, whether or not your um, people, your, your municipality will accept them in the compost. Ours will. I can compost these. Some people don't. So, But they, are, they will break down in the environment. Not recommending you leave anything behind. In fact, that's the whole leave no trace principle is as it says right here, pack out your trash. You can't, uh, you can't get any straighter than that. So that's right on the bag as well. So I really like the idea that these, uh, they have a strong ethos to the environment as well as encouraging people to get out and eat. All right, so what we'll do right now, rather than talk any longer, as I mentioned, all this information is going to be in the video description anyway, let's get to preparing these meals. All right, while our water is heating on the Coleman stove here, I thought I'd just speak to each of these meals meals for a moment. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail for every one of the ingredients inside. I'll hit the highlights when it comes to the macros, the fats, the proteins, and the carbohydrates, because I think that's what most people want to know, especially if you're on a ketogenic diet. So let's start with Gina's meal, which is the Beckmail style mac and cheese. And a few things I want to point out on the packaging right off the top. It says right up here, ditch the freeze-dried bag. And that's important because these are not freeze-dried meals per se. These are not cook-in-the-bag meals. You cook them in a pot. In fact, Gina will go over a little bit more detail about the cooking of these things, but it does take a bit of time. These are not the type of bag where you put the water inside, stir them up, zip lock it, and then set it aside. You actually put this in a pot with boiling water, follow the instructions, let it set for whatever amount of time is required, and then it's prepared. A couple of things here. That's one of the things about these bags. These are, as I mentioned a minute ago, biodegradable bags. So the typical freeze-dried meal bags aren't. So if that's important to you, and it is to me, I don't have to pack out the trash. I'll pack these out anyway, but I'll be able to compost them once I get them home. All right, so the highlights for this, this being not a ketogenic meal, but is a vegetarian meal. So what do you get in here? On the back, it'll show the breakdown in the nutritional information for one and two servings. So I'm going to give one serving because quite honest, I don't know if Gina will, how do you feel about eating this whole bag of food? It's a lot. Yeah, Gina does, not likely. So I'll give it for one serving, but obviously you would just double everything that you have. So total fats in this is 20 grams, which is reasonable. The total proteins is 22 grams, also very reasonable but the total carbohydrates is 69 grams, uh, with four of that being fiber, so you would subtract that and get 65 grams. That's more in half of this bag than I would eat in an entire day, but if you're not on a ketogenic meal or a ketogenic diet, that's not important to you. So yeah, and uh, as I said, Gina will prepare this in a second for you, and you'll see just how easy it is. Now, my meal. So my meal is the broccoli beef stroganoff, and you can see right here it is keto and non-gluten, or no gluten. So it hits those two marks, and it says also cook fresh in seven minutes, and I'll read the instructions to mine when I go to cook it. So let's, I'm probably going to, at least I'm going to try and eat the whole meal. Uh, I'm not especially hungry right now, so I can always save a little bit for later, 
But no, I'll give you the single serving size. And again, if you're looking for the double serving size, then you just double these uh, numbers. Of course, what I failed to give you on the last one is the calorie count. 520 calories for the half package, uh, 10, 1,030 for the whole package. So what do I get for my 520 calories? I get 34 grams of fat. That's nice. That's significantly more than I would in the other meal. And for protein, 32 grams of protein. Also nice. Now, here we go with the carbohydrates. 18 grams of carbohydrates, three of which are fiber. So subtract that. I get 15 grams of carbohydrates. That's right on the border of not being a ketogenic meal. So any more carbs than that, and then it would not be classified as a ketogenic meal. It would still be a low carbohydrate meal for sure. But if you're trying to be really strict about your keto diet, you'll have to pay attention to those macros. For me, this does not matter. This is not going to drive me out of ketosis for that amount of carbohydrates. Plus, I have the additive package that I mentioned a minute ago that I can up my fat and protein with the cheese as well as the parmesan and yes I'll be using the chihula hot sauce. Gina doesn't think she'll be using that in hers. All right I'll flip the camera around and I think we're ready now for Gina to prepare her meal and then I'll prepare mine. So I'm ready to cook my lunch. This looks delicious. It tells me to boil about 16 ounces of water which I have ready to go. I'm going to add the noodles. And I'm opening up the packet here. Oh, and inside, you can oh, yeah. see there's a packet of cheese, right on. The herbs, oh, cool. and spices, and my noodles. And your noodles. So I'm going to add my noodles to the boiling water. Give them a little stir. Bring the water back to boil. Do they have to simmer? Three to five minutes, but I have to get the water back up boiling first. Okay. All right, so maybe what we'll do is we'll cut away for a minute while that's coming back up to boil when we're ready to add the cheese sauce. That's great. So we're just about at the five minute mark. I just did a taste test one of the noodles. I like my noodles a little al dente. So it looks like it's just about ready for me. I'm going to turn the burner off. I love this packaging where there's already a little split in the packaging, so I don't need any additional tools to open it up. And we're going to dump in the cheese packet. That's a lot of cheese. That's a lot of cheese. My son would love this. <laughs> Our son loves cheese. The whole package of Kraft Dinner was just a snack mm -hmm. before dinner. Before dinner is right. Wow. It's getting very rich looking. Yeah. Nice color. Now some of the powder hasn't quite dissolved, but I would assume that if I let it sit for a moment or two, it will do that. What's the other packet you have to add? The other packet is uh, herb and spice. I understand that there is uh, dehydrated onion and parsley in here, salt and pepper, and a little bit of mustard seed powder. Now, I am not terribly adventurous with my food. <laughs> so what I will do is open this packet. And I know you showed me that there's a little, little yeah. cut. Give it a whiff does smell nice, but I'm not going to use the whole packet. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give it a little sprinkle. Your meal. <laughs> oh, I can smell it now. The onions especially. It smells good, doesn't it? It does smell yeah. good. Thinks there's a little fly flitting around here. <laughs> I think he likes it too. All right then. At least the squirrels I aren't here today trying to get her lunch. Can I have a little bit of my hand just to show Gina? Of this? Oh, a little of yeah, I just want the to, spice packet. Yeah, just, just a little bit there. All right. So there they are. There's all the herbs and onions and everything. Looks good. Smells good. But if you don't like this or if you want to, want to try and put a little bit in, you could always add the rest later. 
All right, so what comes now? Now, in my add-ons, I had a couple packets of Parmesan cheese, and I do like Parmesan cheese, so I am going to add one packet of that to it. Right on. And then I am going to sit down and eat. Does it have to sit and rest for a minute or two? Or? No, I think it's more like a, um, a topping. Pretty, pretty much ready, ready, so. I am good to go. Okay, all right, well. So um, stop but, talking so we can eat. All right, I'll get mine done. <laughs> prepare mine as quickly as possible. All right, time to prepare my meal. Again, mine is the beef, uh, broccoli beef stroganoff, a keto, no gluten meal. Inside, there is my powder mixture. I'm just gonna set that aside for a second. Mine does have an, an oxygen bit absorber inside. Let me show you the inside where all the beef, there's a lot of beef in this one and whatever other main ingredients are. All right, so the instructions are simple. Bring my 14 ounces of water to a boil. It is boiling hard. First thing I do, add the broccoli, beef, and mushrooms. Put the bag aside. Get those stirring. Mixing through, what does it say, how long? I'm to turn down the heat and cook for three minutes. So I guess it's down to a simmer. Let me turn that down. I think I'm turning it up. You need help? <laughs> this is an all, this stove. To tell in the daytime. There we go, okay. I may have to take it off the heat a little bit more. So three to five minutes of doing this. What we'll do is uh, we'll cut away. We'll come back when this is ready for the rest of the ingredients to be added in. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I turn the heat off all completely. It's been a little over three minutes. There's still a fair amount of water in that, but of course there's a whole lot of powdered. So this is everything other than the beef, broccoli, and mushrooms. All the other ingredients are in this powdered package. And Jenny and I were just commenting as uh, we looked at her mac and cheese that before she added the cheese powder, she was afraid there was way too much water and that it would be very soupy. Turns out to be just the opposite. And by the time all the cheese powder got mixed in, it ended up very thick. And uh, Gina, what, put in a couple more ounces of water? Oh, about two tablespoons. About two tablespoons of water. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you smell that? That smells yeah. wonderful. Only because I like my a little saucy as opposed to really thick. Yeah. I, um, a lot of the powder stuck to the back of my spoon here. So I was thinking while I was looking at yours and waiting on this one is that yours is vegetarian. Mm -hmm. It does have dairy products in it, so... Uh, but it does not have any meat. So I guess if you wanted to, you could amp yours up by adding pieces of cooked ham, hot dogs, Spam. Yeah, not you. Yeah, hot dogs and Spam don't, aren't on your menu, but uh, ham, I guess uh, any number of things you could put in there. Sausage, yeah, little pieces like. of sausage, yeah. Serve with green salad on the side. Right, yeah. Well, now, that'd be nice to have on a trail, but not likely unless I go foraging for it. Okay, so everything is mixed in according to instructions. Now, the rest of the instructions say cover and let's set for three minutes to finish absorbing. All right, I think we're ready to ready sit to down, you. yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have this special meal to share together in this very special space. We ask you to watch over those who do not have near the blessings that we've enjoyed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, first couple tastes. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add my hot sauce. Mmm, it's delicious. Mine is very rich. If you like cheese, you will like this. Ooh, I bet Chihula's got some bite. Am I saying that right, Chihula? I'm not sure. The other thing I wasn't sure if I said right is Beckmail? Beshmail? Besh. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> You've got me confused. Bechamel. Bechamel? B E C H A M E A M A L. A M E L. Right, stop moving. <laughs> okay. Bechamel. Yes. All right. Put my Parmesan on, one of them anyway.
Jean has very kindly donated her other hot sauce to me. <laughs> um, the only improvement I would make in this, I would like to see the pasta whole wheat. Whole wheat pasta, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, what we're talking about is healthy, uh, nutritious meal mm -hmm. with as clean an ingredient as possible. It would be nicer if it was a whole wheat. I wonder if it has something to do with the rehydration, if it's harder to rehydrate whole wheat pasta than it is the uh, Very white possible. pasta. Very possible. Mm -hmm. But it is delicious, and for my taste buds, the I used about a quarter of the spice packet. Right. And it okay. Was just perfect for me. And we added a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. All right. So for mine, um, mine is not as near as thick as Gina's. I wondered if it was going to thicken up enough, but I let it sit. And it is. Well, we said it kind of has that stroganoff gravy kind of kind of consistency. It is almost entirely beef, little balls of ground beef. It's just amazing how much beef is in here. Overwhelming amount. The broccoli, I can see the broccoli pieces are small, but certainly still there and still identifiable. And you can smell the broccoli. Oh, can you ever? Especially when we we're cooking it. Mm -hmm. And the um, mushrooms, there are mushrooms in this as well. Again, small pieces. They're not large pieces, but they're distributed well throughout. And that packet of powder added to make the gravy as well as all the other ingredients that were listed. Yeah. Delicious. I could eat that. I'm going to add the other hot sauce. Um, I could eat that easily. Well, I won't say every day, but you know, it's it's nice enough that I would certainly have no problem putting this in my backpack and taking it with me. But that's a big meal. This is the it looks full. It is. This this is the full package, a two-person meal. And now I'm second guessing myself whether that was a good idea or not. Mm, that's tasty. Mm -hmm. How's okay. the texture? Texture is, and that's the nice thing, is the beef rehydrated perfectly. It's not chewy, it's not hard. It's not often when you make gravel for the trail, you know, which is dehydrated ground beef, that to get it to rehydrate well, uh, there's a lot of tricks people will use, like adding breadcrumbs and the like, which of course you don't do in a low-carb diet, but to get it rehydrate with good texture is kind of challenging. But this, this is something else again. This, this is just spot on. This is what you're looking for in a, in a properly built meal. Mm. Now, mine did come with a nice piece of cheddar cheese, but I'm going to hold on to that. I think I'll save that for a snack for while we're on the trail someday this week. But uh, okay, taste tests. What would you say overall? Would you? Eat this again. Yes. Yes. Now you had about half of the package. Would you? Do you think that's going to be enough for you to eat today? Yes. So it probably for you at least it would be a two-person meal mm -hmm. or two meals in one. Mm -hmm. Okay. For mine, hard to say yet. I'm hardly into it. I think I could finish this if this was my one meal of the day. Actually, it probably wouldn't be enough calories, but it would be more than enough for a good-sized meal. Yeah, I'm, I'll have to, I won't know until I'm further down in the bowl whether or not it's going to be, uh, if I'm going to be able to finish it. Okay, texture, would I eat this again? Absolutely. I would, in a minute, if somebody offered me this, I would take it instantly, for sure. Okay, let's wrap this video up with a few comments. What I have discovered from, these are the very first of these Right On Trek meals that we've tried. As I mentioned, we still have a couple of breakfasts that we will be doing uh, in the next day or so. And uh, extremely high quality. That's what I'll say about them right off the top. High quality, top end ingredients inside. The time was put into preparing these things. They are a tasty meal. And that's something that doesn't get enough attention. At the end of the day, when you've been on the trail all day, and you're sitting down to eat and you're tired, it's not just a matter of shoving calories in your mouth. You have to have those calories, but if they can be tasty and enjoyable, it makes it so much nicer. And that's definitely this. This is one of those meals that I would I would reach for, for sure. Okay, I think I've covered everything that we need to do. We're gonna finish our meals off while they're still warm. And uh, what I'll do now is just remind you that all of the information about where you can purchase these meals, the nutritional information and links to the meals will be in the video description. 
I'd invite you, if you have any comments or any questions, to put those in the comments section below. But until next time, do you, do you know how this goes, Gina? Until next time, get out and explore. Take and the path less traveled. Because? It'll make all the difference. <laughs> right. Bye, Bye for now, now folks. Now. <laughs>